Hello, how are you? This is my live uh, day three. This is my, my third live session here on YouTube. I hope you find it useful and uh, I can answer all your questions and I also can give you a useful English session. So uh, let's start our session for today, okay? And I have for you today some new uh, words. Let's learn them. And after we learn these words, we will learn each word in English, how to define this word, what is the meaning of this word in English. And also we, are, we will learn how to use it in a sentence, okay? And then I'm going to give you time to try to make your own sentence, okay? So let's start our lesson for today. And the first word we have for today is adventure. Adventure. Ad adventure. Adventure. Adventure is a fun or exciting thing that you do. When you do something exciting or fun, so you can say, this is an adventure. For example, when I say, for example, riding in a rough water, riding the bicycle in a rough water was an adventure. When I, when I say, walking on the street while it's raining was an adventure. So this is how to use the word adventure. The next word that we have for today is approach. And the word approach, the same meaning or has the same meaning of the word arrive or come closer to something. So when you come closer to something or when you arrive at a place or uh, when you arrive uh, at your work or at your home or you come close to your home or to come close to any room in your house, for example, so you can say, I approached it, I approached it. For example, the boy approached his school, the boy approached his school, that means the boy arrived at his school, or he came closer, or he's closer now, he's close now to his school. Can you give an example for the word adventure and the word approach? Try to give an example if you know the meaning or if you can do this. If you can't, try to um, revise what I said or revise the examples I've said and try to make some examples like them. The third word is carefully. And carefully comes from the word careful. To be careful means not to do something stupid or not to do something dangerous. So it's very important for each one of us to be careful while walking across the street. You should be careful because there are many cars going the two ways. So you should say, or you should be careful while crossing the road. Because of you, if you didn't, or if you, if you didn't, or if you wasn't, be careful. Carefully to be careful. Yes, but carefully is the adverb. The adverb, for example, when I say, I crossed the street carefully. I crossed the street carefully. It's the same or it has the same meaning when I say I was careful, I was careful while crossing the street. This is how to use it in English. Thank you so much for your uh, joining or for your participating. Okay, so let's continue. The next word we have is the word chemical. Chemical. And chemical is something related to chemistry. Chemistry is like uh, the elements and uh, reactions like uh, uh, when, for example, when I have the carbon dioxide and um, I have the water and I also have the oxygen. So this stuff or 
doing or dealing with that or these things. This is chemistry. Okay? But the adjective from chemistry is chemical. Chemical. So I can say, I was doing some chemical subjects or I, I was doing some chemical reactions because I'm a scientist or I work in the science field or maybe I'm a student and I study chemistry so I will do some chemical reactions or chemical experiments so for example the scientist mixed the chemicals when I say the scientist mixed the chemicals that means he put many kinds of chemicals and try to mix them together like this I just arrived yani it, it, it's it was about uh, uh, 11 five something like this I I didn't uh, I didn't I'm not here in uh, on the life uh, for too long it's been f maybe 10 10 minutes or something like this the the, the time I, I fix or it, it was a fixed time. I already told you that the live will be on 11 p.m. I told you and the, that the live will be on 11 or at 11 p.m. Uh, Cairo time, Egypt Cairo time. So it's been maybe 10 years, 10, 10 minutes or something uh, when since I started the live. So let's continue. The next word is create. And the word create means to do something or to make something. Yes, it's, it's about uh, 10 p.m. in Algeria. Yes, that's so nice, I think. And it's, it's a good time for you and for me. Okay, so to create something, that means to make something. To create means to make something new. If you have all things like for example if I have some material and I make something new from these materials so now I created something new I created it so to create to create that means to make something new okay she created an igloo from blocks of snow she created a black igloo or she created an igloo from Blocks, from the blocks or from blocks of snow. Do you know blocks? That means like uh, the bricks. If you, are, if you want to build something, you will lose bricks. So you can say blocks, like the blocks that you use to solve a puzzle or to, to, to collect a, a puzzle or something like this. So these are blocks. So she used the blocks of snow to create an igloo. And the igloo is a place or a small house maybe it's a house for an animal or it's a house for for someone uh, who who on, who's traveling or something it's, it's something like the tent or something like this but it's more like a house or a home for an animal a pet uh, like a dog or a cat or something like this okay the next word is evil evil and evil means something is bad or cruel something or someone is bad or cruel and we have learned the last live or the last session what's the meaning of cruel and we said that the cruel person is the bad person the person that he that wants or that he wants to hurt and fight and beat other people so this is cruel person so, evil means cruel or bad. For example, when I say, I have a friend, but this friend is not a good man or is not a good person. He's evil. That means he does bad things. He, he does cruel things or he is a cruel person. That's the meaning of evil. If you want to participate, I would like you to make some examples or to give me some sentences for these words that we have learned in this live. 
Yes, it's like this, Mayu. Yes, you're, you're, you're amazing. That's right. Can you make an example? Can you make a sentence using the word evil? I, I'd like you to give me an example. Hey, Sergio, how are you? Hi. I'm so happy that you're here with us in this life. Okay, let's continue. The next word is experiment. 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 And experiment comes, experiment comes from experience. And experience means something you do um, or something you learn when you do something. Or for example, when I say um, my previous life or I had or I did many things, I did many things in the past and these things give me an experience or give me a good experience. That means I have learned many things from these things or from these actions or from the things that happened to me in the past. Thank you so much, Sergio. Welcome, Malik. Yes, nice to meet you. Okay, hey, Malik. Uh, I'm so happy that you came from Facebook. Okay, um, it's an honor for me to have you today. Nowadays, people are being evil. That's right. And it's a, a bad thing for a person to be evil. Because people will hate you if you're evil. People will get hurt, will get hurt from you if you're evil. So it's not a good thing to be evil. And you should stay away from evil people or the people that act in an evil way. You should stay away from them. So we should be kind. So the opposite of evil is kind. And... If you want to be kind, you shouldn't be evil. Okay, so let's make an example. The, the evil figure, and figure means like a statue or something like, uh, a, 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 like a human shaped, but it's not a human, it's a figure. So like the scarecrow, the scarecrow is a figure and it's something uh, people use on their farms, on the field, where are lots of grass, and they want the animals to keep away or to stay away from this field, so they use scarecrows. So when you walk and you see that scarecrow in the dark, you might feel that it's evil. But it's not evil. It's something scary or something that makes you feel afraid. So you can say this is evil. Okay. The next word is experiment. And we have learned experiment. Okay. And also the word kill. Kill. To kill someone or to kill something to make him die or to make it die. For example, I can kill an animal. I can kill a, a bug like a, a cockroach, like an ant or something like this and some evil people kill other people and it's an evil thing to be done to kill other people for example i killed the fly with a fly swatter and the fly swatter is something we use to kill the animals something like it has an, a stick or something like this a stick and you use it to kill the animals and this is called the fly sweater swatter the fly swatter the next word is laboratory laboratory and the laboratory is the place or the room where a scientist works for, so if you are an, if you are a scientist or something, you will use or you use the laboratory to do your work. Like for example, every person or each person has a place to work in. For example, the teacher 
works in a school or a class. The doctor works in a hospital. The engineer works in a company or a site. And the scientist works in a laboratory. My mother works in a laboratory because she's a scientist. It might be a chemistry, it might be a chemist, or it might be, for example, any other kind of science, or she does any other kinds of science, so she's a scientist. That's why she works in a laboratory. Okay, the next word is laugh. And to laugh means to... <laughs> this is laugh. Okay? And your laugh might be a good laugh, and it might be an evil laugh. A good laugh like this. <laughs> this is a good laugh. But this one... <laughs> this is an evil laugh. Okay? So your laugh might be a good laugh, and it might be also an evil laugh. So, the sound of their laugh filled the room. The sound of their laugh filled the room. That means they laughed so loudly, like ha ha ha, so everyone heard or could hear their laugh. Okay, let's continue. And we said they laughed so loudly or they their laughing filled the room because it was so loud that's or that take us to that takes us to the word loud and loud means it makes a lot of noise or uh, it's very easy for someone to hear it for example if I have Malik here in the live and I say Malik, so Malik can hear me, so my voice is loud. But if I said it like this, Malik, so he couldn't hear me, so my voice wasn't loud. Okay, for example, the man's voice was so loud. She had a good laugh after she fell after she fell on the floor she cranked me up with that joke i have a good laugh yes so you laughed at her because she fell into the ground it was funny that's why you laughed all of you okay that's so nice what's your name again Quazella. Quazella. Is that your name? Where are you from? Can you tell me, my friend? Where are you from? Okay, let's continue. The next word is nervous. And nervous means... I think that something bad is going to happen. Yes, yes, yes. There are nice examples, yes. Okay, when, when you feel or when you think that something bad will happen, you'll be like this. I feel so bad. I think something bad will happen. I don't feel well. Uh, maybe <clears throat> I'm, I'm nervous. I'm not okay. So, uh, because I might think that something bad is gonna happen or is about to happen. So, I'm nervous. For example, the boy became nervous. Angry means nervous. No, no, no. Angry doesn't mean nervous angry means you want to shout you want to fight you want to speak loudly but nervous maybe like this i'm so nervous because i had an exam i have an exam so i'm so nervous now i'm not angry i'm not angry but i'm nervous there is a difference there is a big difference between to be nervous and to be angry for example if you are about to uh, to have an interview because you're gonna join a new job, and it, and this job is very important for you because you don't have an you don't have any work and you need to work, so you're gonna have an interview uh, ten minutes later, so you'll be so nervous, 
not angry. Yes, do you understand what I mean now? Okay, so let's continue. The next word is noise. And noise is something you make, something loud, something makes a, a big sound, or uh, you might don't like to hear something, Ugh, what's this? This is too much noise, like this. So when you feel bad about a sound or something, so this sound is noise. For example, the crying baby, when a baby is crying, that will be a noise. So the crying baby made a loud noise. The cried baby made a loud noise. The next word is project. 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 If you are a student or something, but being nervous may lead to angry. Right. Yes, when you, when you, when you, when you are nervous, you might don't beat or can't stand some things. For example, when you're nervous and someone's talking to you, what's wrong? He's asking you, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? So you might feel nervous because you're, you might feel angry because you're nervous. That's something might happen. Hello. Hello, Aziz. How are you? How are you, my friend? I'm so happy that you joined us now. Okay, come in, join, join us because we're having new words today, you might like them. You might like them, that's why it's very important for you to join us in this life. So, uh, a project is something uh, you do if you are a student or something. For example, in Egypt, because of Corona situation, uh, the, the exams, all the, 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 the exams for the the year or the end of the year are cancelled so the minister said if you want to pass this year and to uh, move to the next year or uh, to be able to go to the next year to go up to the next grade you might or you need to make a project or a research so the research was a project and everyone should make that project so if you're a student or um, even you're studying anything or even if you're an engineer or working on something so you can say this is a project for example his afternoon work project was to paint the room green so this person i'm talking about now he has a project and that project was to paint to paint his or this room green with green color the best thing that we can see your lives anytime mr ahmed thank you so much sergio i'm so happy that you can do this hello how are you how can i study english good Hello, I mean, um, if you want to learn English, this is the right place for you. I'm going to give you daily uh, lives. And during these lives, I'm going to give you some new words with the definition of these words in English. And also, I'm going to give you some examples using these words. So, I want you to write down what I'm saying, um, to write down these words I'm saying, and try to uh, learn them. Uh, uh, after me or um, listening to me and also try to give the, to make some examples on these words like I do like I'm doing now so if I'm gonna give you a word and the definition of this word of this word I want you to make another example uh, on yourself or to make your own example using this word Yeah, Yeshak, thank you so much, Sergio. Thank you so, thank you so much. I'm Wasila from Algeria. Nice to meet you. Okay, so let's continue. The next word is... Uh, hang on a second. Hassan, come. Let's 
لو عايز تقعد تسمع اه بس ما تتكلمش سوري ليتس كونتينيو ذا نيكست وورد از سكير سكير When you scare someone, that means you make him feel fear. For example, if I have a kid and I want this kid to feel fear, so I will scare him. I will look at him like this. Stop talking. I don't want you to make any noise. Now I'm scaring him. I'm trying to uh, scare him. Yes, that's right, Mayu. This is the meaning of this word. See, Ahmed. أنا راني مالك مش سيرجيو. Yes يا مالك I know I know. Thank uh, sorry because you have to you have to accounts I didn't know you. I'm so sorry it's my it's my uh, mistake it's my fault. Yes yes that's the meaning of 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 to scare someone. Yes Mayo. Yes thank you so much. This is the best way to learn English. Good. Yes I hope you find it useful. Hello, hello, how are you, Habiba, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm so happy that you're here. I hope you find uh, this live useful. Um, so let's continue. We were talking about the word scare. And to scare someone, to make him feel fear. To scare, like to speak like, ah, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit you, I'm gonna beat you, I'm gonna uh, fight with you. So now I'm trying to scare him. I'm, I'm trying to make him feel fear. Okay. The next word is secret. The next word is secret. And a secret is something you don't want anyone to know about. For example, if you have something, anything, and you don't want anyone to know about this thing, so this thing is a secret. Something no one can know about. For example, the two boys were sharing a secret. Yes, that's right. That's right, I mean. But I want you to try to learn in English. Don't translate into Arabic. Because it's not useful to translate into Arabic. You should learn. Yes, that's right. But I don't want you to translate from English to Arabic. I want you to translate from English to English to learn the definition of each word in English. This is the right way to learn English. Don't pay any attention to him, Fritz. He's just trying to scare us. That's that's right, Wasila. This is amazing. It's uh, an amazing, it's an amazing example. Thank you so much, Wasila. Thank you so much. Okay, so back to secret. For example, if I share something with my friend. And I told him, don't tell anyone. So this thing is called a secret. The thing or a thing or something I don't want anyone to know about. The next word is shout. To shout means to want to speak loudly. Like, for example, Hamma. So now I'm shouting. I'm speaking in a loud voice calling someone or speaking to someone in a loud voice that means i'm shouting and there is another word equals shout and this word is yell so when i'm yelling that means i'm shouting like this for example my boss shouted at me because i was late for work my boss shouted at me because i was late at work I came late to my work. That's why he shouted. Yes, scream is the me yeah the same definition. It might be scream, it might be yell, it might be shout. But there are some levels between to shout, to yell, and to scream. For example, if you're afraid of something like, uh, especially for women, the women or women uh, scream a lot if they're afraid. Or if they saw something uh, and they feel fear about it, or something surprised them, they will scream. They are. It's something common between women to scream like ah, like this. So they scream a lot. But to yell, maybe to speak angrily to someone, you might yell at him, or you might shout at him. That means you you speak uh, in a loud voice or to speak angrily. To him, 
that's the meaning of shout or yell or whatever. Okay, the next word is smell. Smell, wow, it's a nice flower. It has a good smell. That means something smells so good. And to smell something, to use your nose to sense it or to feel something. To use your nose to sense or feel something, that means you smell something. For example, the two friends smiled, uh, oh, sorry, the two friends smelled the flower. The two friends smelled the flower. That means I have a friend, or this is a friend, and this is a friend, and they came to smell a flower. There is a flower here, and this one smelled her like this, and the other one smelled it like this. Okay, so the two friends smelled the flower. The next word is terrible. Terrible. I translated for anyone don't know what is the word secret. Thank you so much, Amin. Yes, that's amazing. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Then the word terrible means very bad. So when something is terrible, that means it's very bad. But to use terrible is more powerful in, in speaking. So if you said terrible, that means it's more powerful than bad. So bad, this might be something, you, yani, something usual. But when you say terrible, that means it's very bad. For example, the way he treats, the way he treats his friends or the way he treats his classmate is terrible. The way he treats the old man is terrible. Uh, that means it was very bad, or it's very bad. The next word is worse. And the word worse means it's poorer in quality, or it's not good, it's not so good, it's bad, or it's, it's, it's low in quality. It's not the best thing to do or to be done. So this is the meaning of worse okay for example when i say business was worse this month than last month so we have business some business this month and we had some business business the last month but this month was worse than the last month that means it, it's bad, or it's more bad than the last month. Hey sir, you have kids. Hope you a good life. Inshallah, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Malik. Yes, yes, I have kids. Okay, let's continue. So we have finished our words for today. And it's time as usual to answer some questions and I want you to participate with me answering these questions. I want you to participate with me answering these questions. So question number one says, circle two words there that are related to each group. For that means we have four words and two of these words has, re has um, the same meaning or has similar meaning so you should circle them together and now you can't circle so you can write these words what are you saying Malik see Ahmed Tengum Tamil Tina course with Rus out the rest of the zoom app I will try to do this but I, I prefer the live because the live can anyone anyone can see it anytime but if I made a Zoom uh, session or something using Zoom app or Zoom app, uh, no one can, or no, no one will be able to see it when it's when it's finished. But if I'm if I recorded a live like this, you can see me a face to face uh, conversation or to have a conversation with me. And also, if you didn't attend the live, you can see it. Tomorrow you can see it uh, after an hour or something, but 
it's not an option using the Zoom app. Yes, that's why I make the life here because it's better than the TikTok one. But I'll try to make, yani I'll try to make some uh, TikTok lives. So I will go live on TikTok, on YouTube, and also on Instagram. So you might see me here, here, and here. If I have a lot of time, or I have, if I have enough time, I might make three lives a day. But this is so stressful for me to make uh, more than a live a day. So I'll try to make a variety on platforms. I go live on YouTube, I go live on Instagram, I go live on TikTok. So make sure to see my daily video. The videos that I mention where and when will be the live. So daily, day by day, if you go to my account on TikTok, you will find the video. And in this video, I'm gonna mention when should I go live and also where on TikTok, on YouTube, or on Instagram. So make sure to see that video. Okay, let's continue. We have question one. We have laboratory. We have experiment, shout, and smell. So which two words of these four are related to each other or are relevant to each other? One more time. Laboratory, experiment, Shout, smell. Okay, Malik, you can answer. Take your time. Don't tire yourself. No. You, you, you can say it, but it's not common. You can say don't stress yourself. Or don't make it hard for yourself. Don't make it hard for yourself. This is more better to say it like this. Okay, I'm going to repeat one more time. Question number one. I have four words. I have four words. And two of these words are relevant or related to each other. So you should tell me which two words or what are the words that relevant to each other. Question or number one. Laboratory. Experiment. Shout. And smell. Which two words are related to each other. Hmm. Tell me, please. I'm waiting for you, Aziz, Malik, and also to Wasila, and anyone on the live. I want you to participate with me because I want to know or I want to make sure that you get benefits from this live. If you didn't interact with me, I, 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 don't, I will not be able to know if you get benefits from it or not. Yes, it's right. Amazing, Malik. So yes, it's laboratory and experiment. Amazing. So if you want to make some experiments, you will make them in the laboratory. Amazing, amazing Mayo, amazing. That's super nice. Okay, question number two. Shout, carefully create, laugh. Shout, carefully create, Laugh. Hmm. Which two words are relevant? Who is Mayo? Yes, it, he, he's one of my friends. He's one of my friends. No, not cried. I said create. Create. It's not cried. Create. Shout and laugh. Amazing. Amazing, Malik. I, I think, Mayo, if you, if you could hear it correctly... You might answer correctly. Okay, so it's not cried, it's create, create, create. So, of course, it's shout and laugh. Amazing, amazing Malik. Okay. Let's continue. The, uh, number three. Nervous. Terrible. Approach. And worse, nervous, terrible, approach, worse. Huh. Which two words are relevant? It, 
is it is it uh, difficult? Hmm? Let me know. Is it difficult? Terrible and worse. That means amazing. Because if something bad, that means it's terrible. And also, yes, and also if if it's bad, that means it's worse. That means very bad. Okay, Aziz, the question was nervous, terrible approach, and worse. And the right answer is worse with terrible. Hello, Reda. How are you? Yes. Okay. Number four, we have chemical, secret, loud, amazing, amazing wasila. So, question number four, we have chemical, secret, loud, and noise. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Reda. Thank you so much. Okay. So, which two words are relevant? Chemical, chemical, secret, loud, and noise. Hmm. Tell me which two words are relevant to each other. Loud and noise. I think you are so smart and clever, Malik. You are so smart and clever. Yes, yes. They are uh, loud and noise. Amazing. So if you make a loud sound, amazing as he is super. Amazing. You work. No, uh, yes, I still have time. Yes. yes, that's very nice. So, and also Aziz answered the right answer. Amazing, both of you. Okay, the number five question, or uh, number five, nervous, adventure, project, and scare. Nervous, adventure, project, and scare. That's why I want you to test me and make Zoom. I'll try to do my best, uh, Malik. Yani, I can't promise you anything because I don't have much time, but I'll try to do this. Nervous and scare. Yes. So, when you scare someone or when you try to scare someone, he, he might be nervous. Yes, that's right. That's right. So, the right answer is nervous with scare. Thank you. Let's move to the next question. Write a word that is similar in meaning to the underlined part. So, I'm going to give you a definition of uh, a definition of a word and you I want you to give me the word that is related to uh, the underlined word. I'm going to tell you what is the underlined word and I want you to give me a word I can put instead of it. Okay? William wanted to make a new thing. I want you to replace make a new thing with another word. Another word we have, lear we have learned today. So if I want to replace make a new thing with another word, what it will be? Try to remember the words we have taken today. Try. <laughs> we said there is a word means to make something new to have many things and mix them to make something new. What is this word? Ha, huh? tell me. I think it's a smart question. The word started by CR. CR. Try to give me the right word. Hurry up. Okay, in on five. If you didn't give me the answer on five, I'm going to answer it by myself. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, the answer is create. To create something, that means to make something new. Okay? Number two, good luck next time. Number two, I'm not having fun. I'm not having fun, so let's go on an exciting trip. I want you to replace an exciting trip with another word. So what will it be? The other word or the another word. Hmm. To go 
on an exciting trip. An amazing? No, an exciting trip. We said there is a word related to make something exciting. To make something exciting. Or to make something amazing. So what is this? A Marvilla journey. Yes, but it's not journey. It's an adventure. Amazing. Yeah, and you came so close. We haven't taken journey today. We haven't taken Marvillas. I want you to give me a word related to the lesson that we've taken today. So we didn't take Marvillas today. We didn't take journey, but we took adventure. So an exciting trip, that means an adventure. Okay, I want you to replace the, the, the word I'm going to say or the sentence I'm going to say with a word from the words we have taken today. We have taken create, we have taken adventure, we have taken many other words. I want you to replace in this sentence with one of the words we have taken. We haven't taken voyage. Have we taken voyage today? No, we haven't taken voyage. But we have taken adventure. Yes? Okay. Let's try one more time. Mrs. O'Malley asked me to get close Mrs. Omelie asked me to get close to the desk. To get close to the desk. And write my name. I want you to replace close to or get close to, get close to, with another word. Try to revise the words we have taken today. Mm. Okay, let me give you a quick revision of the words. We have taken adventure, approach, Carefully, we haven't taken near. We haven't taken near, Sergio, or Malik. That's why I told you to write down the words. It's very important to write down the words, to have a pen and paper and write after me. Approach, amazing. Yes, it's approach. Yes. But approach, it's A-double-P-R-O-A-C-H. A-double-P-O-A-R-O-A-C-H. I didn't attend in first. Okay, Malik. It's okay. It's okay. Yes, it's approach. It's approach. Thank you so much, Aziz. Okay. It's, it's not a problem. Okay. But try to, uh, next time, try to attend from the beginning because it's very important to not miss anything. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Number four. Don't worry. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone your thing that other people don't no, the thing that don't people or don't other people or other people don't know. So what is it? Amazing Wasila. Yes. Okay. This is another question now. Don't worry. Um, I won't tell anyone your thing that other people don't know. The thing that don't people or don't other or other people don't know. So what is it? Amazing. It's secret. Amazing Aziz. So you should replace things that other people don't know with secret amazing thank you number five and the last one in this question i have to finish my special job before i can go homework where are others answers i can see them here in the comments i can see them you can maybe you can't see other things or other comments but i can see all of your comments i can see because i'm the host of the live i can see all of your comments but you might not be able to see the other comments and also they can't see your comment too but i can see all of your comments okay i'll try to see the option that allows you to see that but not now maybe the next time i'm gonna uh see Okay, uh, so the last question, number five. Okay, I have to find or I have to finish. I have to finish my special job before I go home. I want you to replace special job with another word. Special job. If you have job that you might have something to do. Something to do is called, huh? the special job is called, Pro, huh? 
What is it? Special work or a special job, yes? We said that if you, if you are a student or something, so you might have a, or you might do a function. No, no, Mayu. We haven't taken function for today. It's project. So the special job is project. So I have to finish my project before I can go home. I have to finish my project before I can go home. Okay, I think this is the last question we have for today. Uh, I, uh, and that's, yes, amazing. That's very nice, Aziz. That's the right answer. Okay, so tell me, did you find this session or today's session useful? Farha, I, 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 saw, your, uh, I saw your comment. Why did you delete it? Why did you delete it, Farha? Just answer it one more time, please. Because I'm going to ask you, answer your question. The lesson is over. So I can answer your questions. Have you found this session useful? Tell me. I want to know your, uh, your ideas. Thank you so much, Mayu. Thank you so much, Malik. I'm so happy that you find this session useful. I, I, yani, I, I hope to be useful for you every time I go live. Because... I am here to give or to make to uh, benefit you, and if I didn't benefit you, so what's the point? I give from my time, or I give my some effort. I give time, so I should uh, find it useful for you. Okay, Farha, write your question again, please. Afterwards, yes. Okay, then yeah, you can use. Uh, then, or you can use afterwards, both of them can work uh, or can uh, replace each other. Okay, so tell me more about yourself. Tell me more about yourself. W can you use two or three words from today's word in a sentence or in a small story or something? Can you tell me, for example, an, about an adventure you have faced lately or uh, can you tell me about uh, an interesting thing you did for example uh, this year the last year something like this can you tell me about something like that i'm all ears to uh, to know more about you or to listen your stories are interesting for me What's the difference after and before? What is, you should say it like this, Gada. You should say, what is the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference between after and before? For example, for example, if I said before, that means, yani, for example, if I said the car and the bicycle, this is the car and this is the bicycle. Okay? So now, from your perspective, this hand is here, and this hand is here. This hand is after this hand. This hand is after this hand. But now this hand is before this hand. So simply, this is the difference between after and before. After means after, after, but before means before, before. Do you understand the meaning of after and before now? Tell me if you have any other question. I'm here to answer your questions. What, what is the difference? No. You can't say what is the difference. What is the difference? What is the difference between this and that? You can't say what is different. Did you ask a question? Yes. I, I, I just want you to tell me about an adventure or about something interesting you have done uh, recently or lately. That's, that's what, or that was my question. It's not a question, it's just about a, to open discussing, to open discussing with you. It's like a discussion. So... Uh, our lesson is over, 
So I want to talk to you for some time before we finish our live because it's almost uh, five minutes left. We have about five minutes left before we finish the live. So I want to listen from you. I would like safari. Yes, I like safari. But I didn't go safari. I, go, I didn't ever go safari. But I, I, I want badly to travel to uh, another country or another place which I can go uh, on the desert and to travel and to live that life or that adventure. But I didn't. I didn't do that. I have, n I have never do that. A problem in my phone? It's not a problem. You just to try to keep us or to keep up with us. Especially in Tanzania. Yes. Yes. Tell me about it. In the jungle. Tell me about it. Tell me about it, Aziz. Yani, it's something I want to do badly. Badly. So badly. But I, I, I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. I'm, I'm not sure about it. But I want to do it so badly. So tell me more. Tell me more. Where is uh, Fatma, Farha? Where is Ghada? Do you have any other question? Tell me if you have any other question. I'm here to answer. I'm here to listen to you. I'm here to help you. So let me know if you have any question. If you don't, I'm gonna say goodbye because we almost finished our live for today. So before I go, do you want me to answer anything for you? If you do you want me to help you with anything, just let me know. I was thirsty. That's why I drank a lot of water. I drank lots of water. Can I say, by the way, can I say um, I'm drinking and that's it without saying anything about water? Can I say I'm drinking? Or I drink? If I said I drink, I drink like this, that means I drink alcohol. So, Yani, it's not usual to say I drink and you're, you, you mean you drink water because all of us drink water. But when you say I drink, that means you drink alcohol. Have you ever visited Sudan? No, no, Farha, I haven't. Actually, I, I haven't travel. I haven't traveled to any other place. I'm just here, Egypt. And almost I didn't travel to the other uh, cities in Egypt. Because I'm a busy man, I have lots of work. Uh, most of the time I'm working, so I don't have time to travel to make things for myself. And it's a bad thing. Yes, of course. Not just did. Did, do, and does. If you have did, do, or does in the sentence or in the question, you should put any other verb in the infinitive form, in the original form of the verb. Yes. My favorite series, all of them are English. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't usually watch Arabic uh, series. Um, I watch The Flash, it's an English series. Uh, English serial. I also uh, watch The Arrow and some other series related to this. Tips for learning English faster, please. If you want to learn English faster, okay, try to attend my live, my daily live on YouTube or on TikTok. I'm gonna make a lesson like this, it will help you a lot in learning English. Okay, so try to make sure to attend daily. And if you miss the live, Go on my YouTube channel and watch it. It's very important and it's, it's going to be useful for you. 
what's the difference between then and then? Then it's something we use to compare, to compare between two things. For example, I can say, I am taller than you. Uh, Ali is uh, smaller than Muhammad. Then. But then means when you speak about something and you want that something happened after another thing. For example, I was walking on the street and then I saw a man falling on the ground. So you're speaking now about something happened after another thing. That's why to use them or that's how to use them. Where was? No. Where is different? For example, when I say I was happy yesterday, I was happy. If you want to ask a question, were you happy? If you have was or were in the question, then يعني, you will not find any other verb. There is difference between to have was or were in a sentence or a question more than or rather than to have um, rather than to have uh, do, does, or did. Hello, 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 Lamis. Who are you? Do I know you? Lamis? Okay, I think our, our time or our session has come to an end and our life has come to an end. And thank you so much. I would like to thank all of you so much. I enjoyed a lot being with you today on this live. And I hope you find it. I hope you find it useful and fun, both. Hello, Lamis. I miss you so much, my sweet kid. Okay. So, uh, thank you so much. I, ho I want you, Lamis, to come next time to come earlier than this because we, we, all, yani, we finished our life for today. I, yani, I'm, I'll be happy to have you from the beginning of our session and you're going to find it so useful because we have uh, explained an important Listen, and we have learned and some important words and you might some or you might find them useful for you thank you so much and see you inshallah tomorrow in another live thank you bye bye good night for all of you bye bye no not not today because i i have many things to do so I'll not be able to make another live on TikTok. Thank you so much and bye-bye.